tactician, uh, a reasonably regular player on this show, seems to have got his rating up a little bit recently, above 2200. So I had better be on the lookout for a few tricks. I'm going to see if I can play a weird opening here to catch him off guard, but he doesn't open things up after 2a6. Uh, so let's just fear and chateau and take this into some kind of more standard territory. If you have any suggestions for openings or anything else at all that you'd like to see in the show, then don't forget you can either let us know in the chat, uh, which my producer at Hong Kong John is uh, keeping an eye on, or you can contact either of us on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at T.E. Randall. Uh, I will probably be checking that during the halftime segment of the show where John will be stepping in for another edition of John's Blunderful Games. Where I, I hear he's uh, set his sights on, um, you know, climbing through the rankings. Um, so yeah, that, that should be good. Alright, h4. Looks like my opponent has some experience with this hacking thing. As he pushes, pushes Harry the H-pawn down the board quite early on. Um, I don't really want him to have that pawn in the centre on e5 for too long. So I'm going to tell that to go away. Not going to recapture the queen. Because I think he'll play <coughs> uh, bishop f4 and gain tempo against my monarch. If I do that. So I'm going to play knight f5 instead. Feels a little bit more well rounded. And just. You know. Floating here and there. Right now. Waiting to see what my opponent's going to do with his king. Should I castle with my king? Probably the answer is going to be yes. I've run out of good other ideas. Other than castling. Let's castle. Still not in all that much of a rush to regain that pawn. Knight's kind of irritating on f5. I'm trying to persuade my opponent to play g4, which I think will mostly just be a weakening move. Alright, knight d2. My opponent's threatening to re to uh, defend the pawn with knight e4 and knight c4, so time to grab it. wonder if I could have had a little bit of a think about e5 there. I should have had a bit of a think about e5 there. Uh, take, take, take. Uh, it's probably quite a good move. Alright, I should have gone e5. Well... That's one slightly rushed decision. Okay, he gives up the bishop for the knight in order to gain a tempo against the queen. Will that turn out to be worth the two bishops? I'm not sure. He is really interested in winning that pawn. Okay, so I have to weaken this long diagonal. But I don't see anything horrific happening just yet. I'm going to keep that h line closed. I get a feeling he's about to sacrifice a piece for two pawns. And try and make an attack slash that diagonal work. I think, frankly, it doesn't really work. But it's interesting. I think my king can probably end up hiding on h8. Well, we did put it the piece sacrifice. My opponent has got his hacking boots on. Okay, so his idea is to play h6 and move early. So if I play bishop e5, knight g5, bishop b7, he can take, take, and take. Huh. Okay. Maybe I wasn't giving this guy enough credit. h6 first does change things a little bit. So bishop h8, h7, king up, knight g5, bishop there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask him to prove his win here. He is living up to his namesake of Tails Tactician here, giving up a piece somewhat, well, potentially unsoundly. Potentially it could be brilliant. I mean, I did feel a lot more confident when I thought my king was going to be tucked in on h8 rather than g7, but uh, I have a feeling we might be heading towards our first time trouble incident of the night my opponent drops below a minute on the clock i have a minute 32 don't forget the time control in 
tonight's broadcast is let me just take a breather to play the move f6 uh three minutes plus two seconds a move so you start off with three minutes every time you make a move you gain an extra two seconds if you run out of time that's it kaput you lose the game my opponent i'd say he's sacrificing more material but that's not really what he's doing he's gaining more and more pawns for the piece but i think this is okay if i'm not lost that's my that's my in-depth analysis for you guys all right so we see bishop c6 then if i play bishop b7 he's got queen f3 check bishop f6 bishop takes b7 so we have to move the rook rook a7 seems to be my preferred square so now queen f3 is met with queen f6 four th he has four pawns for a piece but my piece is a bishop still feel like i'm doing okay if i'm you know not lost uh he's threatening bishop g6 let's just give my king an escape square to e7 that seems kind of sensible A lot of this depends on just how strong that pawn on h7 is. I mean, it's only one square from queening, but I do have it nicely blockaded at the moment. And okay, f4. So I have weathered the storm for the moment. But actually, my opponent's position is still pretty resilient. Let's bring the rook into the game. I think he's buying enough time to castle. Yeah, that's what I suspected. Rook d6. Now my opponent's counterplay is longer lasting than I gave it credit for. I so want counterplay here, but it feels a bit slow. Uh, we are definitely heading for time trouble drama here. Ah, uh, I don't see moves. Let's go bishop here. And get the king out of the way. Alright, maybe we can swap off some material. Let's play this move. We're attacking some pieces. Let's play this move. My queen was attacked. Alright, I wanted that pawn. Uh, swapping, swapping. Rooks are good pieces. I'm not going to let them get a queen for free. Yet. Take, take. He gives me a check. I want that pawn. Uh, 19 seconds plays 13. The moment he has four pawns for the piece, that is now down to three pawns. And we're happy to swap that off. Bishop moves. Oh my word, that was a blunder of a pawn. Not spotted by my opponent. Uh, panic stations here. Rook coming into f7, king goes here. Oh, bishop takes e5, one on the spot. But bishop h6 picks up the exchange. That should be all over. Uh, let's not give away the e6 pawn. That feels like it might be useful. Uh, alright, let's give a check. King, go away. Come again, you know, no time soon. Alright, you can win that piece if you want. I don't need it. Uh, yeah, still don't need it. Bishops are better than pawns. Heard it here first. Uh, bring the king round. Alright, let's calm down. We are no longer short on time. We can be sensible about this. Uh, especially now we can be sensible about this. I now am not down in pawns. And I'm still up in bishops. I think I can push a pawn. And then push a different pawn. And then push yet another different pawn. But wait, my opponent has resigned. My opponent says, great game. I have to say I agree. That was entertaining. He came perilously close. Agonisingly close to mating me. And then his, his advantage almost endured into the ending. But like I say, guys, bishops are better than pawns. Bishops are better than pawns. I feel like a new hashtag coming along here. Uh, oh, wait a second. My opponent's not made a move yet. I thought it was... My position was looking good there. B3, bishop, b2. Now it's your move. 
that feels like quite a good opening. Uh, all right. Let me get my breath back. All right, I'm going to try something very hacky in this game. Very hacky, maybe a little bit sacky. My opponents seem to be doing most of the hacking and sacking in that last game. But, spoiler alert, I'm going to try and play G4 at some point here. But, please don't tell my opponent that. Alright. Here's the H3. Not really certain what the follow-up is. But it's probably involving G4 at some stage. Uh, Alright, let's develop a piece. Will I scare him into not castling? Apparently not. Alright, do you want this pawn? I mean, I probably shouldn't be giving this one away, but uh, it's good for development. Alright then. Well, all we need to do now is give a check on d5, suck on h7, give some checks, mate on the h file. No problems. Right, let's put a knight on d5. That feels like a a useful square for a piece. Maybe if he goes knight e7, I can go knight g5 and start to get this attack rolling. Huh. Is that a good move? Take. 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 Yes, it is a good move. How about that? Take, take, take. Check, king, take. Hmm. Running out of good ideas here. Take. I've got to take. We've established that we're taking. Are we now taking on f8? Takes on f3, takes on f8, takes on g2. We have a rubbish position. We're not doing that. Alright, I don't feel so confident about game number two. But, uh, so long as we're not actual bishops down, then there's always a way back. Don't think I'm going to emerge more than a pawn down here. But it might be a pawn plus a rubbish position. So, yeah. Yeah. Take and take. So we're not even a pawn down. I mean, that's the good news. Can I really play f3 here? f3, c6, knight e3, queen f6, castles king side, everything's fine? I, I assume that is going to be the next few moves. Well, c6, knight e3. Do we see queen f6? We see queen g5. We do not see queen f6. Can I play queen d2? Knight f3. Bishop. Rook. Knight. King. Take, take, take. Or just queen e2 here. Just queen e2 is more sensible. Little bit worried about a rookie eight here, but I can just castle kingside and lose a minimal amount of material. Uh, we're definitely still fighting here. If we can turn this game into a hashtag time scramble, then who knows what will happen. A5. Do I not want to go D4 and get that knight out of the picture? I think I do. I think I'm going to castle queenside if I get the chance here. I mean, I might be castling into an attack if I do that, but uh, my king's not going to be safe anywhere. And at least I can maybe make use of the h-file if I go uh, queenside here. Oh my word, it's another sacrifice. I mean... My opponent doesn't seem to respect the value of pieces. And, you know, I applaud him for that. But, you know, they are worth something. If you're going to take on g4, 
aren't you supposed to have a follow-up? And Rook E8 doesn't feel like the follow-up. I've got Rook H3. Okay, so his plan is Rook H3, Bishop G4. I'm with you. What's his follow-up after King F2? Bishop G4 anyway? Yeah. Queen G4, Queen E3. What is his follow-up after King D2? Bishop G4 again. I'm seeing a theme here, guys. King here. He's going to play Bishop G4. I'm calling it now. Queen G4, Queen E3. Right, we're not doing that. We can go Queen D3 or Queen F2. Or Bishop F3. Can we go Bishop F3? I think we can. Again, now my opponent is up to two pawns for a knight in this game. But here my king is caught in an interesting little bind and this knight is in a pin. So I need to be able to over defend e3. And then okay, I'm slightly surprised by that exchange. Queen h3, rook f2, king there. Down to 25 seconds against... Well, basically 25 now. We are going for another time scramble. All I need to do is survive and counterattack. My opponent's down to 15 seconds. Oh my word, he spends a move defending. But now my rook comes over to f1. And surely that's the end of his attack. I mean, maybe not quite, but... Alright, swap those off. Let's play the rook across. 20 seconds plays 16. Um, Alright, this is a winning ending. Let's show off technique. Uh, if anyone has seen technique, then, um, you know, please do let me know in the chat. Ooh! Uh, ah, we can do that. And then b6. No, let's not do that. Let's do this. Just trying to be careful here. And knight across. And uh, king goes here. And knight goes... Ah! How does this work? Knight goes here. Perfect. Now if h3, knight g3. Or I can in fact just take this pawn off. And if g3, then knight takes pawn and knight g2. Here, we're just here in time. Um, Alright, I need to regain some time on the clock while I work out how to win. Uh, Alright, we go b6. We have a winning plan. Bring the king across. Oh wait, it wasn't a winning plan. Uh, Alright. Technique, not quite there. I'm assuming this is a draw? Uh, knight needs to go to some squares. Um, doesn't look like it's working out, guys. Knight's not very good at stopping pawns on the edge. Aww. Uh, we do need to just go back there. So, this position here, is this really not a win for white? This knight blocks these two pawns. The king blocks this pawn. I have a protected pass pawn. Just saying one sec to my opponent before we get the rematch going. Uh, maybe I don't have a win here. Okay, yeah, I know. My instinct was just that I had to go for something, but my king is obviously too slow. Maybe I can do this. 
and then ah, oh, what I can do is go this way. Ah, oh, this way wins. And then I can just come across and take this. So my mistake was going over to take the wrong pawn. Whereas this, this wins. So for example, he just has to seed ground here. And his king's way too slow in getting over here. I'm just getting a new queen. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, king went to the wrong direction. I was playing that more like I didn't have an increment, to be honest, but there we go. All right, let's go for a rematch. Just going to tell my opponent, okay, found the win now. Hopefully he is still there, because I do want to carry on what's been, hopefully, a reasonably entertaining series. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Um... E4. Well, let us go back to the tried and tested French. Uh, we have had three games... No, two... Yeah. Well, we've had three games in the show, but two games in a row that have descended into a little bit of a panic right at the end. Oh, so tempted by Bishop B4 here. Uh, hopefully we can carry on having games that go right down to the wire. Uh, let's go C5. It's a particularly fun move. This is the so-called Alakine Chatard attack in the French. Named after Mr. Alakine Chatard, who used to play it all the time. Um... Oops, I do appear to have recaptured with my king. There goes castling. Here comes fun times. Cha-ching. Um, it does appear to have confused my opponent. Okay, I need the time advantage because, yeah, he seems to be really good once we're down to the absolute panic stations. All right, how does this game normally go? F4. Do I take on... I think I play knight c6 rather than um, c takes d4 here. Honestly, I'm a little bit out of touch with the theory here. When do I play f6? I mean, let's play f6. Do I want to play f6 now? Let's take this off first. I mean, this looks like it might be a line. It's definitely not exactly how I remember it, though. So... Chances are we've done something fairly silly, but hopefully it's something silly and entertaining. Ooh, uh, that's a really good move. I kind of hoped he couldn't play that. Knight takes d4 is now met with queen takes g7. Uh, so he appears to have a double attack, and I appear to have to defend against these threats. Uh, that wasn't quite my aggressive intention. But, um, I have castled my queen to g8. And, for some reason, the rook hasn't jumped over. So, I can only imagine that's a bug of some kind. Because my position would be a lot better with a rook on f8 here. Uh, he doesn't seem to want to let me stabilise. Can I go f5 here? Ah, uh, this game is silly. I can't play knight takes e5 because of knight d5. Queen e6, queen g7 is not fun. f5, queen g7, king e6. Game on. f5, knight d5, king e6. Knight c7, king e7. Queen g5. f5, knight d5, king, knight, king, queen, king, knight. Oh, that's not good at all. What about other moves? Knight b6 is a move. Knight b6 is a move. 
Okay. Trying to only be a pawn down here. Because the game is sufficiently complicated that maybe I can force some kind of comeback. He's obviously in a nasty pin here. He can get. He can't play queen takes g7 because of king takes e6. He can play e takes f6 check. I have to recapture with the pawn because I'm not a madman. Can I play king takes e6 here? Queen f6, king d7, queen d6, king e8. Ugh. I'm not sure, guys. What about king e6? Hang on. Queen, take, take. I'm going to try and trap the knight. I don't have to play into his sacrifices. I have a completely playable position to pawn down with some compensation and some pieces developed and chaos on the board. Uh, yeah, so my plan largely is that knight's terrible. F takes e5, bishop g4 is another legal move that's not very good and I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to take that pawn back. Alright. A minute plays 51 seconds. Even if I could draw this game and go into the final game of this best of four with the white pieces, that would not be a disaster. Alright, pawn to d4. Uh, what about bishop to g4? Why can't I make up my mo uh, mind over moves? Alright, pawn to d4. Yeah, let's do that. If knight goes back to e2, I'm going bishop g4 here. If knight goes to e4, we're going to do something else. Maybe pawn takes pawn. 2, 5, okay. Um, let's take the pawn or go bishop g4. Bishop g4. Are we trapping the knight? Rook e1, king f7. King f7, king f7, king f7, king f7. Let's play the move. It can go knight f2 and extricate. I should have gone rook g8. Uh, I missed knight f2 here. Will my opponent find knight f2 under the pressure here? He does not. We are now in a familiar position of me having a piece for an amount of pawns. His knight comes in. What's that? I'm down to not very much time. I am shocked. 13 seconds plays 34. Rook comes up to d7. But position, not bad. Uh, want pawn on e5 is my oh-so-sophisticated plan. Let's attack it with all my pieces. Uh, can he defend it? I don't think so. Attacking it three times, he's defending it twice. He can play bishop b5 and pin my knight. He doesn't play that. Excellent. Let's take that off. Alright, swapping of some material. Alright, let's exchange off into another winning ending and then lose it right at the end. He can pick up the pawn on h7. For some reason, he decides not to do that. Ah, he's going for an h6 tactic. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go h6 and prevent all of that kind of stuff. Is he putting a bishop on that square? Yes, he is. He can't invade on... There, check. Time's still very, very close. Need to bring in pieces. Alright, running back with the rook. Uh, difficult. Alright, knight in. Threatening rook takes e6. And checks. Uh, that wins me the game. Back ranker. Back ranker for the win. And we do go into a 2-1 lead. Well... I mean, I should still be doing very well before he plays this move B3, but, uh, yeah. Alright, I think he's, uh, I'll, I'll ask if he wants to play one more. Before the break. Alright, we are going to just even out the whites and blacks and call this a, a best of four. I mean, if he wins it, he wins it, we'll call it a drawn series. Uh, okay, let's get Harry the H-Pawn rolling down the board since we do have a 2-1 lead. We can afford to get complacent. Uh, no, wait a second, we can't afford to get complacent. I keep getting those two mixed up. Alright. 
Um, but Harry the H pawn has made its intrepid way down the board to h5, eyeing up the juicy h6 square in the near future. Oh, my opponent briefly disconnected there. No problems. He has popped right back. Doesn't seem to have lost too much time. Right. I really should go h6. Uh, let me just check the knight b4 doesn't win for him on the spot. Nah, I can play e4 or something. There's always going to be a move. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's played it. Okay, maybe I should have been more careful. Let's go e4. I mean, so long as he doesn't actually get a deadly check on that square. Uh, it's not all that easy to stop, though, guys. For some reason, I assumed e4 solved all of life's problems, but... Alright, we have some fun moves. We're going to take... And... Why didn't I take first? I could have just gone queen a4 check without the need for e4. Okay, no worries. Anyway, we have forced the knight to retreat back to c6. I think. Not certain what he's thinking about other than there. Otherwise, I'm just winning this. Alright, knight does retreat back as suspected. Bishop b5 or knight f3. Bishop b5 has a threat, so we're going to go with that. See if we can keep some kind of momentum. Uh, also, it's possible that if he plays a move like queen d6, I might play knight, F, knight e2 instead. Uh, don't really like the way this game has gone. I am a pawn down and don't seem to have anything for it. Maybe our opponent will sack a piece for no reason. Who knows? Uh, times are still relatively even in this game. Yeah, I don't really want to throw away this series, having gone 2-1 up. But, you know... We will be hopping into John's wonderful games right after this game. I will just be away for a few minutes while he entertains you with a different set of games. And I will be back for part two. Don't forget, we're not the last of the action on uh, chess.com forward slash TV. About three and a half hours after this show finishes, I believe, Melek and me will be live on chess.com TV. So, do hang around for them if you can. Uh, queen d6. Uh, I'm mostly waffling because it's better than looking at my possession. Uh, hashtag, I guess we've all been there. Uh, I have to castle one of the sides of the board. Neither of them look very good. Where's my counterplay? Probably down the h file, so let's castle queen side and then get mated over there. Alright, that seems like a solid plan. Look, I've got a lead on the clock. Excellent news. I think my opponent is looking for a way to uh, do some damage. Maybe I should just be all very sensible and let him um, cause problems for himself. All right, knight b4. I think I do just castle kingside now. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Yep, that seems sensible. c6, bishop e2. A6, that's fine. Happy to run away with some pieces. I'm going to try and get something together with a, for a kingside attack. Take and take. And that in there. Uh, rook across looks sensible. Oh, not all the way across. He's going to take on e3 and play rook e8. Not wild about that. Can I go knight h4 here? He just goes bishop e4. And then I play... Yeah, I don't really see it. Alright, let's go rook d1, c1. Yeah, maybe d. Even bishop h6 is scary here. Yeah, that's why D was probably the right move. King F2, Rook E8, Knight E5. Got to make sure that this is not too easy for him. Because he has shown himself to be vulnerable 
when low on time, as we did catch him in that classic back rank trick in the last game. So as he does drop to below 50 seconds, this game really is anybody's. He has the two bishops and the extra ball, and my queen on a4, not fantastically placed. Hmm, he is having a long think here. I think he's looking for some kind of killing blow. f6. Alright, he sensibly just doesn't want my knight on e5. But I want that bishop all the way out of there. Well, now at least I can put some pressure down this h4. I mean, he's got that pretty well covered, but still. Uh, Alright, let's bring the queen back. Bishop round here. Do I want to take with the knight? I might do. Nah, I think I'll take with a rook on retrospect. Just need to stop him playing f5. Alright, how about takes and rook f4? Ah, oh, I'm getting the knight to the juicy f5 square. That feels like a massive win for my position. Even quite close to trapping his queen. New plan. Queen f3, followed by rook g4. Is he going to fall for it with c6? Uh, rook here, queen there. Uh, yeah, just queen d5 now must be very strong. Threatening another back rank mate. But I put it down to less than 20 seconds. Oh, it's not quite the end. Queen check. Knight check. Alright, this wins us some material. This wins us a rook. King f8, queen d8, mate. Yeah. And our, for the second game in a row, we finish with a back rank. I'm going to say good games to my opponent. It was a really entertaining series. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for the games. I am on a quick break now, but don't go anywhere, because John will be here with the halftime show. Thanks.